Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Greedy Philo with 1,183 rating versus 4 with 1,344 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and see 4 win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then they will go ahead and decide to go first, 45 versus 45, opening hands, we have Ball Drake, Gruesome Gray, Valor, Drewsworm, and Shavara, they have Boot Sector Launch, Regain, Drewsworm, Bastille, Magmala, and Quick Launch, okay, so... Lots of Bastilles in the opening hands. Ball Drake plus Jerusalem, also very good. Uh, like, you know, combination of two Bastilles. Uh, but we don't have good engine or anything yet. Uh, so they're going to go activate Quick Launch, summon out Rocket Tracer, and then Link off to go in the Striker Dragon, then Striker Dragon effect uh, to pop and add back. And then they're going to chain Ball Drake to Banish Tracer, then Striker Dragon still pops itself, and then activate the Regain. Okay. Uh, activate Jerusalem. Banish Striker Dragon, special, and then regain put back striker to draw into a Ash Blossom. Sure. And then normal summon out Ash Blossom. Make Dark Charmer. Jurus Worm out Baldrake. Dark Charmer to summon Baldrake. Chain Jurus Worm to banish Baldrake. And then now they're gonna get regain the special summon back out though. So shouldn't we have just like let them take Baldrake? Um, but I guess maybe there's a chance they just like leave it on board um okay now they link off summon out sp and then sp effect out Jurus worm chain valor onto sp if they chain the effect to banish they just come back during end phase anyways uh so they're gonna let that go and then bestial magma mutt banish valor special magma mutt effect search during end phase and then move to end phase and go search out a ball drake and then pass turn they draw imperm so go main phase and then battle phase uh attack over the sp and then go main phase two. Uh, what do you even do here? I was going to say, because obviously we're going to try to go for uh, Fiend Smith because we don't have any actual engine here. But normal summon out Gruesome Grave, make Amirage. And then on that summon, uh, the opponent is going to go Baldrake, banish the special. Sure. Regain, put back Gruesome Grave to draw Rocket Tracer. Yeah, that's going to go to the bottom of the deck. Uh, well, they're not supposed to shuffle. Then go up in the SP. And then SP target, Regain, Drewus Worm, targeting uh, Ball Drake. Then Chain Link 3, Ball Drake, uh, tributing Magma Mutt. And then Chain Link 4, Regain, uh, targeting. Wait, yeah, Chain Link 3. Ball Drake, Tribute, Magma Mutt, try to banish SP, Chain Link 4, Regain, to summon out Magma Mutt from the graveyard, and then Chain SP to banish itself, plus Ball Drake, so SP is going to banish Regain, they're going to summon out Magma Mutt, affect the search, get hit with Imperm, and then End Phase, bring out the SP, and then, uh, well they're supposed to bring back out Ball Drake there, uh, but who knows, maybe, maybe this player wasn't even supposed to make Amirage, what if they just made Moon? Then what, right? The opponent has like Baldrake. Do they even, like what? Like what do they do from there, right? We have Moon. We make Requiem. They can't Baldrake banish that. We bring out Engraver. I guess then we go Requiem effect to equip. But I guess, I guess Baldrake in hand is just like really, really strong at that point. Uh, but they draw Branded Beast for turn. Uh, they're gonna go Normal Summon Tracer. Yeah, this game's just over. They're gonna beat over, then attack directly, and then. Yep, they said 16 to your life, yes. And then go main phase two, make disc patter, disc patter effect, special summon back out, rocket tracer, activate boot, tracer, pop boot, go for rocket recharger, and then go striker dragon, striker dragon, pop itself, add back rocket recharger, recharger in the magma mutt, magma mutt effect, search during end phase, and then set branded beast, end phase, grab out Jurusworm. And then pass turn, they draw Spirit of U Bell, sure. And then, yeah, they just submit the field. I was going to say that card doesn't do anything there. Uh, so, on to game number two, we'll see U Bell go first. Opening hands, we have Magma Mutt, Valor, Engraver, Opening, Chaos, Summoning Beast. They have Saferd, White Dragon, Rocky Caliber, Black Metal, and Ash Blossom. So, they have one hand trap here. Activate Opening, go search out Dark Beckoning Beast. And then normal summon out Dark Beckoning Beast, go grab out Opening, and then we're going to go normal summon Chaos Summoning Beast, make Moon, and then Moon in the Requiem, Requiem effect, and they're going to let that go, they don't try to Ash that, bring out Engraver, Opening effect, uh, we need to discard Opening, special summon back out, and then go in the Sequence, Sequence effect to shuffle back and summon, so that's going to bring out the Aerial Eater, 
Aerial Eater effect, go dump Spirit at Yubo, and then link off into a Yama, and then Yama effect, go search out Shavara from the deck to the hand, okay. Uh, activate Engraver, shuffle back sequence, special summon out, link off to make a Soul of Rage, Shavara effect. I mean, that would be a pretty good time to like Chain of Vistial targeting Yama. Um, but okay, they're gonna Shavara, try to pop Soul of Rage, special summon out. And then Solar Rage and Yama. So summon out Spirit of U Bell. Add back Engraver. And then Spirit of U Bell into Nightmare Pain. And then they also have Opening that can add back Opening here. Uh, but they're going to go Nightmare Pain, destroy Spirit of U Bell. Um, but they said, hold up, I'm going to Ash Blossom that. And then now we're going to go Engraver, discard, go for the Tract. And then Tract into Lurry. Lurry special summon itself out. Sure. Uh, then we can link off, or never mind, we're going to go tracked with Lurian Engraver into Lacrima, so that way we produce an extra body, Lacrima, special summon out Engraver, overlay, go for DDD, and then link off Shavara plus Spirit of U-Bell into Muckraker, and then we don't Shavara set, okay, interesting, uh, shuffle back, bring out Phantom of U-Bell, and then pass turn. Never mind, they're setting chamber during the opponent's draw phase. Yeah, they were, they were like, hold up, we made a mistake here. That was not done properly. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and set the chamber. They draw Imperm. Uh, so Imperm on DDD is really good. Uh, so they're going to go Imperm onto the DDD, sure. And then Normal Summon out, Black Metal Dragon. And then Link off in the Striker. And then Striker, Black Metal, we're going to chain Valor on the Striker Dragon uh, to cut off access to Boot. Then they search out Red MD. I mean, no boot sector launch is like fine though. Banish Striker, summon out Red MD. And then Red MD effect. We're going to Phantom of U Bell to stop that. Destroy Spirit of U Bell, Spirit of U Bell, summon out U Bell. Okay, that's good. Uh, then special summon out White Dragon by banishing Black. Then on that summon, we probably go Chamber into Solar Rage. And then use Solar Rage to link off Red MD and then banish White Dragon with SP. Like, that's pretty good. They've already used their normal. Yeah, I was going to say we cut them off with boot. So now Solar Rage onto Red MD, and they admit defeat. So on to game number three now. We'll go ahead and we'll see four go first. But the opponent had, like, a Bestial. Like, that game probably would have just been over. Uh, we have Nightmare Throne, Jurus Worm, Imperm, Veiler, Engraver. They have Sornir, Baldrake, Anti-Spell, Rocket Tracer, Rocket Caliber. So they're going to go normal out, Caliber. And then make striker. They said is normal summon. Yeah, you can't just special summon this from hand as first play. Uh, go striker dragon effect. Get hit with imperm. And then bestial sornier. Try to banish caliber. Get hit with Druus worm to prevent that. Uh, and then just go set anti spell. Pass turn. Uh, they draw opening and then draw phase. Uh, they're gonna get hit with anti spell. Then just normal summon out Valor. Make armorage. Link those off in the SP. And then we're going to go SP effect out anti-spell. Uh, no point of using Druus Worm there, but they do it anyways. Uh, yeah, there's no point of doing that, right? I guess like it helps you beat Baldrake, but it's not like we can attack directly. So if we can't attack directly, at least we can attack over this for damage. Uh, but activate opening, and then opening. Go ahead and grab out the Dark Beckoning Beast. Sure. And then they are trying to normal summon again. I was going to say they already normal summoned out Valor. Uh, they said you summon Valor. They said my bad. So activate Nightmare Throne and then go destroy Spirit of U-Bell. Spirit of U-Bell, bring out U-Bell. And then put back Spirit of U-Bell plus Dark Beckoning Beast for Phantom of U-Bell. Uh, if we activate Opening, we're going to get hit with Bestial. So they just instead go for Phantom and then activate Engraver for Tract and then Tract in the Lurry, Lurry effect. They said okay, so just special summon that out. Uh, then. Interesting. Couldn't they have like Swarnyard or Chain of Bestial to the Lurry? And then if they Phantom a U-Bell negate, that's fine because they already have U-Bell on field. So if they destroy Spirit of U-Bell, they don't get a body out of it. If they destroy U-Bell on field, then like that's fine, right? Well, I guess like I was going to say, like you just destroy this off field. But then I guess they get this, but this doesn't do anything because this will already summon Terran Incarnate. All this will do is like put back Phantom. Uh, but now they're going to make Muckraker and then make Requiem, Requiem effect, Tribute go special, bring out the Engraver, sure, uh, Engraver effect, put back Requiem the special, they said sure, that's fine, uh, and then link off, go in the sequence, sequence effect, 
put back the Lurie plus engravers, summon out the Lacrima, and then Lacrima effect. They said okay. Really? We're saying okay to that? Don't you just lose? I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure you actually just lose. Uh yeah, if that gets special, they just make DDD and like now that trades with both the bestials and then past turn they draw branded beast. I mean this is definitely a goofy end board. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how we keep ending on Muckraker. It's probably because we keep making like SP so early. Um but okay, we're gonna do that. Pass, they draw into branded beast, and then normal summon out rocket tracer, and then turn that in the typhon. Sure, that doesn't do anything. Uh, attack over the Muckraker. Sure. And then Typhon effect, chain Phantom of U Bell to go destroy. And then that will go ahead, destroy Spirit of U Bell. And then Spirit of U Bell to summon out U Bell from the graveyard. And then I guess set Branded Beast. Yeah, pass turn. They draw evenly. So both the Beast deals in hand just lose out to the DDD, which means Branded Beast also isn't live. Opening, discard the evenly match. And then special summon out the Spirit of U-Bell. And then Spirit of U-Bell effect. Uh, go ahead, go for Nightmare Pain. And then activate the Nightmare Pain. Sure. So we can just attack for game, like, on the Typhon, right? Just attack it three times. Uh, we're going to go Nightmare Pain, destroy U-Bell. Go search out Gruesome Grave. U-Bell, summon out Terra Incarnate. And then Sequence will go ahead and be made into the Requiem. And uh, that's probably, like, one of the first times I've actually seen somebody, like, get to leave a sequence on board, like, that long for it to be turned into a Requiem. Uh, but go ahead and make Requiem, and then activate Gruesome Grave. Special summon out from the hand. Uh, destroy Spirit of U-Bell, and then Spirit of U-Bell to summon out U-Bell. Requiem effect, bring out the Engraver. Sure. Uh, and then just link off Engraver plus Gruesome Grave. So it shouldn't have used Typhon effect. Uh, to bounce back, uh, but they link off Terran Carnage, sure, go for Yama, maybe they're just forgetting that all they have to do is, like, have three U-Bells on field, and just say battle phase, and you win the game, because we have Nightmare Pain, yeah, because, like, all you have to do is just, like, summon a Phantom U-Bell, and then we just start doing more, uh, Yama into Shavara, okay, Gruesome Grave in the Spirit of U-Bell, uh, sure, link off Yama, plus U-Bell, no, we're gonna link off, y yeah, Yama plus U-Bell, uh, sure, make Solar Rage, Shavara pops Solar Rage, special, and then we're gonna go Solar Rage, Yama, so summon out U-Bell, put back sequence, Requiem, effect to equip, and then effect to go send, said locked in the fiends, yeah, so they can't just make the rank 10 yet, now they're gonna make a sequence, and then overlay for the rank 10. And then try to activate sequence effect. They said you can't resolve my bad can't. Wait. We can't resolve sequence? Wait. Am I tripping? Is there a reason why we can't? Uh. Yeah. I feel like you can there. What? Is there a re uh, We didn't do it this turn, right? No. Yeah, we didn't, so why why can't we make an aerial eater, right? Just, like, fiends with the same types? Like, we got plenty. So, okay, somehow doesn't have game. Also, they could have used this to go ahead and pop. At the start of damage stuff, this card attacks while it has material. You can destroy one card on the field. So we could have at least destroyed Branded Beast. I'm not even going to lie. The fact that they didn't win there was crazy. Uh, also, didn't they use Yama to special summon back? Yeah, they did. They just never banished it. I was about to say, because if they actually did have Yama engraved, they still had game here after all those mistakes because you can use the XYZ to pop your own card and then Yama, uh, which is a pretty cool interaction to know. But yeah, they messed up bad. I don't know why. They were trying to treat their deck as a combo deck there, but all they had to do was just like attack this with Phantom of U-Bell, U-Bell, Spirit of U-Bell, Terran Carney, like we could have, we could, we, we probably could have gotten like way more damage on field, like way, way, way more damage. Like there's probably a way to like almost end the game twice at that point with how much damage we could have had. Um, but instead they just try to start to make an end board when we could have gone for game. Uh, they draw abs of router dragon there. So they're going to go activate branded beast, see if they would negate it. 
And then go Bestial, Sornir, targeting Yama, DDD to stop it, Lacrima to shuffle back, and then Ball Drake. And then, yeah, they're just going to DDD. Yeah, so that is just game. Uh, couldn't they have also... I just realized that too. Couldn't they have also just linked off for Appalooza? And then Lacrima burned for game. I feel like there was like so many ways for that game to end there. It felt like. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for it. Uh, you know, sometimes people focus too much on like building an end board when you can just go for game. Uh, so like, you know, it's good to, you know, sometimes realize like, oh, I can just win here. Uh, but seeing how long the match was, it was about 43 minutes long, and we do end up seeing U Bell beat Dragon Link there. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to see some people just playing fun decks over the next couple of days because the ban list drops on the 31st. So, you know, these next couple of days until it hits the 31st, like people are just going to play like random decks because, you know, like what are we playing this format for at this point? Unless if you have a regional this weekend or something. Um, but with all that being said, the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.